he's close, then you can back up. Right? Because right now he's not still in the ball for me. But if he was that close, you might you might bounce back. Shift up, then drop. So when you bounce here and start going, put that shoulder. Right? Get that shoulder into him a little bit, okay? So now, if you get to your spot and you're in your space where you can shoot the ball from, as he starts guarding you right here, and you shift and you go with him, if he's stuck, boom. Only if he's stuck, from you. you feel like you're in the area where you can shoot, late shot clock, or if you feel like I said, like you're in your spots and he stick to you, just separate off, right? So only detach right here if you feel like he's still here. So if I feel like he's still here when I go like this, I'm going to just give that little extra to just bounce out to my shot. Hands on it, I can take these steps. Five, one, two. You got a dip. So five, one, two. Drop, hit. Replace, replace. Then my hand goes on the ball. And I'm keeping. There we go. Space, right, so he's on me right here. Swim out, push one. I'm gonna plant my right foot, crossing my step to get out of the space. So now, while it's floating out, I can read to come back. I put that drive, keep playing out of it. Right, so I just want to be here, shift, just flat, flat. Good, good, and bop one. Run out. Extra space to the jump shot. Take that hit back in here. Because you still want him to respect this step. Because at any moment, if you catch him here, you can sneak up. See what I'm saying? So you want him to go here. Look how you gotta go there. Now I'm going here. So I want my right foot to go down to what's him before I go this way. Try not to hesitate your step. Just bounce. You're good. Okay, right here, don't chop it. He's literally just close. Stop. Plant that foot inside. Just make sure your left foot plant like you're going towards the ring. 